evening folks happy thursday uh, a couple days ago i was on telling you about uh, how i was going to go away with my husband for a couple days because he had a run to southeast pennsylvania and was in a pickup truck just hauling some building materials his trucks in the shop so they at least found him something to do which was awesome so i went and worked in the passenger seat of the truck on my laptop for a couple days and it was great but I just got to give a shout out to all the truckers out there because seriously, we did like, I don't know, 1,700 miles from Wednesday afternoon till 8 o'clock this morning. Now, mind you, we stopped both nights. We got a room, um, which is great. But seriously, like 1,800 miles in two days. We got back to his shop. We got up at 4.30 this morning to make the, the rest of the three hour trip to his shop so he could get loaded in a different truck with a trailer and go do more runs today. We got back there at eight o'clock this morning. I jumped in our truck and came home. It's 6.30 in the evening. He is still out there running. I, I don't know how they do it. Like, I don't know how they do it. I am exhausted and all I did was sit in the passenger seat and work. Okay, seriously. I didn't drive, I didn't do shit. I sat there and I'm exhausted. That was a lot of miles and he's still doing it. And so many truckers do. Like, I don't know how they don't sleep. I just don't get it. So if you see a trucker out there, you know, tell them thanks. Buy him a coffee, whatever. These guys are exhausted too. And they keep going just so all the shit that we want to go and purchase is in the store on the shelf. So that we can just bring it home and, you know, three months from now throw it in the garbage. Because that's what we do. We're, consume, we're consumers of useless shit, right? But those truckers make sure that our country is well stocked with all the things that we need. Supply and demand, people, they're making it happen. Tell them thanks. Um, yeah, unreal. I, I just don't know how he does it. I'm like, I'm exhausted thinking about it. So, um, earlier this week, I did a video about <laughs> something that really irks me. And I ended up deleting it because it was a really aggressive, obnoxious video. And um, so, I'm going to kind of recap it today, but not be incredibly crazy about it. So I am on a daily chemo pill, right? Um, I take one pill a day. It's 100 milligrams. It's all my body can handle. They wanted me to take 300. Uh, dude, I couldn't handle 200. I had to have a fucking blood transfusion, okay? I don't know how the hell they expected me to do three. So I'm on one. 100 milligrams, one pill a day. Whatever, my body handles it. And... Um, my insurance company won't authorize the full 30-day script. So I get two scripts a month, right? A 15-day supply for $15,000. It's $1,000 a day to take this pill. Thank you, Jesus, I have insurance, right? $1,000 a day. So my insurance company doesn't cover it all. So my oncologist office had me fill out some paperwork, literally like the reduced school lunch program. Okay, like you can't afford to buy your lunch every day or your family can't afford to pay for your lunches. So you fill out the forms and you get the reduced school lunch program. Mm -hmm. I'm on the reduced, you know, living script program just so I can stay alive. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. But that script comes in this box. Do you see that? Non-returnable, non-refundable. Yeah, that's what the box says. They literally have to put stickers on the box that say non-returnable and non-refundable. Really? Really? Because let me tell you what. I'd return this shit and get a refund for $30,000 so I could buy all these fucking supplements and all this damn food so I can stay on this plant-based diet. Hell, I'd probably hire a trainer. Maybe a chef. Who knows? 30 grand? Shit. I can find a lot of things to do. But nope. There's a warning no returns, no refunds. So, so I'll stick with my, you know, 15 pills twice a month and the insurance company can have the, th the th or the pharmaceutical company can have the $30,000. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking joke. It's such a racket. I can't stand pharmaceutical companies, you know, because here we go through this huge pandemic. Okay. All of a sudden we have this brand new COVID-19 virus, but in less than 24 months, what happened? They found a vaccination. Less than 24 months for a brand new virus nobody's ever heard of. 
we still don't have a fucking cure for cancer, diabetes. All we do is continue to pay these fucking pharmaceutical companies millions and billions and trillions of dollars just to stay alive. But God forbid we have a virus that cripples our country because in less than 24 months, they're gonna get a, they got a vaccine for that shit. Mm-hmm. Cancer's been around over 100 years amongst God knows how many other things. And, and, and we get warnings. Non-returnable, non-refundable. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't try because it's not going to happen. But, oh, and by the way, my pills also come with a warning. Warning. Do not let family members handle this drug because it's radioactive. Yet, why don't you eat one every day? Okay? You eat one every day, but don't let your family touch the pill bottle. And don't try and return it or refund it. I, I, it, it shit just makes me crazy. Okay? Crazy. Yeah. So, you know, when it comes, the UPS, the UPS man touches the box, for God's sakes, and wh whoever else drops it in front of my door twice a month. And I got to make sure I tell my kids, leave it there. I'll go get it in a minute. Because, you know, only one of us can have radioactive shit. I, I, you know, I just, I just, it, it, it makes my head spin. So, thank you, Big Pharma. Just thanks. We'll just, we'll just go with that from the bottom of my heart. Thanks. And a big fat fuck you. That's what I want to say to them. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. Twice a month, I get this stupid ass pill and I take it. And, you know, it seems to be working. But I'm also on a shit ton of supplements. And, um, yeah, the plant-based diet's not going so well, obviously. It's not going so well. But I do, you know, I do try. It's hard. Shit's expensive. Um, some of that 30 grand could definitely go towards my grocery bill. Because ain't nothing in this country getting any cheaper. <laughs> Especially not pharmaceuticals. Jeez Louise. Anyway, that's my rant for the evening. Much more tame on this video than the last one. Um... Either way, y'all get the point. It's a, it's, it's a racket. I totally, 100% fully believe that it's a racket. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about who's padding who's ass and who's making the most money. Let me tell you, it ain't me. So, I'm just going to go with it. Thank God I have insurance that covers most of it. And, you know, <laughs> the reduced script program. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm on that too. It's great. So, whatever. It seems to be working, but the supplements and the diet works too. So y'all out there question it and wonder about it, dude, I'm telling you hundred percent, believe it, believe in it and, and totally do it. And I should be better about it. Uh, and one day I'll get a lot better about it. But today I'm gonna drink my beer and not worry about returning my script and, uh, keep on keeping on. Just like the rest of you should. Keep on keeping on. I love y'all. Have a great night. Enjoy the sunshine and this beautiful weather while we still have it. And uh, just cheers. <laughs>